Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. We've got the Atola 7 port USB 3 hub. So I needed a new hub because, well, my other USB hub that's 7 port, a couple of the slots are a little worn out. So I need a new one. So I picked this up on Amazon and uh, thought I'd give it a shot. There's a lot of hubs up there, but it's more of what I was also looking for is something also with a permanently installed cable. Because the problem with the other one too is it's got one of those separate cables that plugs in and out which can sometimes be flaky connections too uh, with those kind of uh, setups so it's like well and of course I wanted a powered hub because well I need a powered hub Mac or PC so and I wanted one that actually had a little bit more oomph in it than my last one because it only had a two amp power supply so you know that power that amperage gets uh, divided between uh, whatever slots right that are filled and uh, the nice thing is you can turn them on or off they don't stay on all the time and uh, so you have that option to turn them on turn them off which you're not drawing over drawing the power from the system either which is kind of nice this one here has got just little click buttons which is a little different my other one's got switches um, let me just grab the other one here for you and uh, so you can I've had this one, uh, I got it on sale for about 20 bucks at the source and it's made by Vital and uh, so I've had this one for quite a while and it still works great it's just that a couple of the slots are weak so I'm having issues uh, where I plug my iPhone in to use it as a continuity camera for example that slot that I was using is completely worn out now um, so half the time it doesn't work I gotta find another slot that works well I've had other things in and out of these other slots and yeah they're starting to wear out. So even though it was a $20 hub, well the longevity it doesn't look like it's going to be there completely. So we're going to have to do an update review on this one. That's kind of a bit of a buh. But again it's only 2 amp and that's it. And you can't charge anything uh, from this hub either. It's not made for charging. It's made for your data. But uh, either way, any slots that are still working are working fine, but you know, it's the way it goes. So this one here actually has a dedicated charge port, um, which is good for a little over two amps. So basically the way I take it, according to my understanding is um, out of the four amps that we have, um, we have basically half of that dedicated to the slots here and the rest is going to go to the charge. Now this is charge port only. It does not do any kind of data. So you can plug in your iPad, your iPhone or Android phone. Um, anything that doesn't draw more than the available amperage obviously and uh, charge them up rather quickly. So that's kind of a nice little bonus to this one. And it's going to get mounted upside down, hopefully. I'm um, just taking a look at things. And yeah, it looks like I can do this. I'll be able to mount it upside down as well, like my last one um, I did. So, And of course, I got a different orientation of the slots now, too. Instead of being this way at the back side, now the switches are at the back. And these are in this orientation. Or I can actually set it up this way, which I might actually do to keep the switches at the front, come to think of it. Um, as long as it reaches for my first initial port and it looks like yep perfect that's gonna actually work um, let me just uh, move the camera up to show you how we're gonna mount that and uh, so it's gonna be mounted like this and then this way my cable goes right back to my Mac once I fish all that through there and uh, we'll be able to get that through there. There we go. Because I have my card reader here. Um, so that plugs into this slot, priority, and I just have to feel around for the button instead of the slots. So nicer setup. My charge port will be here so I can charge whatever right off of there. That's great. Fantastic. So let me get this thing all mounted up, hooked up, and we'll give it a test. Now it is a powered hub, like I said. so. You do have the power supply and uh, the write-up said 4 amps so I do want to verify this power supply and uh, yep 4 amps 5 volts 4 amps perfect this ought to work out just great so this will be instant for you okay all right guys we've got her mounted up now if you're wondering what I'm using for holding tape 
It's this double-sided uh, clear jelly style tape that it holds really super good. Uh, but at the same time, it can be peeled off without harming anything. Um, I've actually used this to put guitar um, pick holders on guitars, these things here. And uh, I've been able to pull them off the guitar without ruining the finish. So, you know, and it holds it on there really super strong. But um, anyway, so I've got my charge port over here uh, where I can start charging the device from, which is fantastic. Um, and it's not controlled by a power switch of any kind. So I'm going to go with it's always on because uh, there's no power switch for it. However, each one of these around the USB port will light up in blue. The power switches themselves don't, but the ports have a, an LED ring around each port. So you just push and hold uh, for a quick sec like that, turns it on, push and hold, it turns off. That simple and easy to do. So this way now, uh, with the orientation being better as well, uh, for where, they, where the ports are, it's kind of like really super simple and easy for me to get at stuff. There's no rotary switches in the way and direction is simple to follow. You know, so the blue side goes to the left and it's like, oh, I can plug that in so easy. And then I just click it on, boom, and the USB stick comes up in this case, right on my desktop and my computer and that's it and voila. And when we're done, we eject, we're finished, and then we take and we turn this port off when we don't need it, and it frees up power to the other ports. So the only port that I always have on all the time is actually for my microphone, and the only time I turn the first port on is for my card reader is when I'm using the card reader. Otherwise, I turn it off. Same as my printer, I turn the port on when I need it, and I turn it off when I don't need it. This allows me to run higher draw devices from other ports um, as required. But you can't have all seven things plugged in at once unless you're well uh, within the available amperage um, for it. So that's the, that's the thing. But um, anyhow, they also give us a little quick start guide and they, they tell us a few things about this that uh, it's kind of like real simple, straightforward uh, stuff here. Let me just zoom out here for you. So this is our, our basic instructions, quick start, seven port USB 3.0 hub, and it has blah, 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 where you go. Um, they show you the connections, how to connect it to your PC. Uh, I'm, in, I'm hooked into my Mac Mini M1. Uh, it's a type A. I have two type A ports, and I have, of course, two Thunderbolt four, or three ports, Thunderbolt three ports. But I use this in, of course, the, uh, the 3.0 uh, type A port slot, so there you go. So now you got seven extra USB-A ports. Um, I do have an adapter here that I also use, uh, that I also leave in a socket all the time. I don't know where I put it, but it's usually for plugging in Type-C stuff. So if I have something that's Type-C, because both my Thunderbolt ports are in use, then I can use an A to C adapter that I use in one of my slots, and then I can plug in a, like a Type-C drive or whatever type of thing, right? Works great. So uh, right now I'm going to leave this as not a review, um, just call it an unboxing and first impression. Right now I'm pretty impressed. I love the orientation. Um, the uh, plug, you have to firmly put it in there um, till there's about, there should be nothing more than uh, just shy of an eighth of an inch gap between the uh, front of the power supply plastic face there and the uh, body of this, so you do have to firmly connect it, so it's a good, strong, firm connection. I like the idea, too, of the built-in cable, and it's a really thick, heavy cable, so it's not gonna wear and tear too easily, you know. Uh, unlike like this hub here, this is my last one. This is just one of these same drive things you find in a lot of your external uh, laptop SSD drive cases, and these can get, can get finicky. Um, this one's actually quite secure. It's not finicky there, but like I said, I've worn out a couple of these slots. So I'm like, I think it's time for a new one. Uh, plus the, the big pain of this too was, um, even though it fit great and everything was routed fine, it was the fact of, yeah, I got the switches here and I could see the lights on the side, which was nice. Uh, but then the ports are all going this direction instead of this way. 
and it was always a hassle to try and get up and underneath there and you know figure out okay which direction and it's like I can only tilt my head so many ways this way it's kind of like I know the orientation now it's totally memorized and boof and I know exactly where each slot is I don't have to worry about it perfect you know so uh, I think this one will probably last me quite a while but I'm going to go check out my original video on this um, particular hub as well this vital to find out when I got it to give you an idea what kind of longevity I've gotten out of it with the slots and um, you know because only a couple slots do I ever just push stuff in and take stuff out you know type of thing because that's just the way it goes but generally these two are always occupied and this one's always occupied but then like I said my cam my phone when I use it as a camera I tether it with a cable to my uh, M1 because it's actually better than Wi-Fi in it um, that slot is definitely worn out <laughs> and I kind of wore out another slot too with a lot of ins and outs from USB sticks and drives and you know so it's kind of like I don't know I, I, I'm pretty sure it's been less than uh, well it's maybe been not quite two years but I'll find out and I'll do a video uh, review update on the vital for you um, and then that'll have all the dates and stuff but if you're interested in this hub at all um, my first impression is, is it seems to be pretty good. It's definitely built a lot better, stronger quality than the Vital one. And we have the benefit of a um, over 2 amps worth, apparently. Um, let me just check the things. I'm pretty sure it said like 2 or 2.4 amps to the charge port. Um, it may say it here. I know it definitely says it on the Amazon website. Um, Pretty sure it did it say it on yeah it just says charging that's it um, AC operation yeah it uh, just says AC adapters 5 volt 4 amp oh charging one point Sinking in data up to 5 gigabits and charging up to 1.5 amp. So 1.5 amps is assigned uh, to the charging port. Okay, so if we go 4 minus 1.5. So we get 2.5 amps of juice to the ports. So not too shabby. That's pretty good. All right. So that's what I got for now. My first impressions though, I do like it. It's it's nice. I do, like I said, I love the fact this is an integrated cable and it's really thick and strong. Good solid, good quality looking power supply too. Good feeling quality on the power supplies too. Um, but the only thing I could say about the power supply is I wish the power cable was a little bit longer. Um, for the power supply side, it just made it to my power bar on the floor and behind the desk, but you know it's kind of like well at least it made it there that's the main thing you know um so that's good but anyway that's it that's all stay tuned i do have another actually really cool video coming for you guys next so keep an eye on the channel see you in the next one